How to install and activate WinCC SCADA or WinCC Explorer. Hello guys, in this video we want to dive into how to install this famous and popular software. First of all, you should download this software from our website autonexit.com and after that with WinRAR extract it, okay? Oh, okay okay before that just be sure that you disable your antivirus so i go to privacy and security windows security and then virus and threat and protection and be sure that all of these feature are permanently off because we want to activate it okay and if you are using third parties uh, obviously you must disable them too okay after that just right click on the file and go and extract file hit ok it asks password I just put autonexit.com and hit ok wait a minute it will be done and we will start the process of installation of this software and after that, I will show you how you can use PLC Sim to simulate your project with this software. Okay, that's it, guys. I open that, open this, and this is the file that we use that to install. Okay, right click and mount it. Wait a moment. Yeah, go to this PC. This is the WinCC. Okay, open it, and this is a setup right click and runs administrative maybe it asks to restart your windows that's fine just restart your windows and do all of these step again and come here okay hit next 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 i accept all of the condition next okay i want to install there's a note here if one day you want to remove this package just come here and choose remove okay next i just want to go with english okay there is two options here the second one is a is a kind of customization of installation i want to package installation and hit next okay what we have here i want to install wincc i want to have web navigator sent server data monitoring server and of course connectivity pack if you want to just install the client go with WinCC client when I when I tick that or check this one uh, all of these go disappear okay so WinCC or web UX that's your option and this package it works for me and I head next okay this is our view of what we will have and finally go to install this lovely software yeah I accept it next that's it guys and install obviously it takes moment but be patient and enjoy the process as you can see there is a there is a picture here that uh, we can use a SCADA on our system to monitoring the process on the on the PC obviously it's not an HMI and it's really useful for our project in the following video I will uh, put some of my project that I worked with uh, SCADA. Okay, I just pause the video and come back as soon as it's finished. Setup has successfully installed and it asks to restart your Windows. Okay guys, I just restart my Windows and come back and see what's happened on my system. And, I, and obviously, after that, we will go to activate that when you restart your windows uh, you will have this uh, window that says WinCC web configuration 
you can just cancel it and uh, activate it when you need that okay this is the uh, WinCC Explorer as you can see is fully installed and let's go to activate that just go and copy this file go to your disk PC local disk C and paste it here these files sorted by date as you can see for example this is the newer version but uh, both of them are okay just write as administrative yes required keys as you can see these all of these are activated on my system because I just activated them before but let's bring it back and be like your system to remove all of these license I just go to uh, local disk C and go to options view and show hidden file and hit ok this is a file that where is it yeah a x and f double z this is a file that all of the license are stored on this one if i just uh, delete all of them yeah and now if i just open automation license manager i have nothing i have no license key here okay so this is when you first time install uh, a software from siemens after that you come here and run as administrative the file okay and here required keys as you can see they are unchecked and they are white select all of them put it single workplace and install line so if i just go and see automation license manager as you can see i have some of the license and uh, for example this is a web ux web ux web navigator they are activated and it's unlimited but guys the best way to uh, use WinCC Explorer is it's just work with that and when your project uh, it goes bigger and bigger you will receive error for license and in that part in that moment go and find the exact keys that you need for example uh, I receive it an error for WinCC Explorer just come here go to WinCC and WinCC V8 okay these are the long name that you need to find them and just click and activate them that's it for example I want to activate WinCC RT 5 112 tag i just select it put it on single and install line that's it guys and if i go to automation license manager i will find it here yes so work with the software and whenever you need a key just come here find it and activate it okay let's go and see how we can simulate our PLC and work with WinCC Explorer. Now I want to show you how you can use WinCC Explorer with TIA portal. Okay, just run the WinCC Explorer to see everything is fine. Yeah, uh, that's a window. It says, okay, I want to use single uh, project and the name of that is autonexit.com and this is where that i want to save the project okay and create that one 
Meanwhile, I just opened TIA portal V19 and we want to make a simple project to see just is it work or not. Okay, I just made a new project and name it for WinCC V8 and create that one. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is a WinCC and as you can see, everything is fine. It's work. And let's go and make a project on TIA portal and connect it to WinCC Explorer. Okay, okay guys. I just go and add new device. I want to use a 71200 and this little guy for example okay it's asked me to activate the license of uh, the software just uh, uh, select it and activate that one now i can work and the the, um, the license that it shows and pop up to me it was about TIA portrait. It wasn't about WinCC. Okay. Okay. No access. Okay, full access, no protection. And I want to make a simple project. So I just go to OB1 and just add m100.0 to m200.0 that's my project just save it compile it it's perfectly work yeah and just let's go and simulate it so i just open plc sim wait a moment Okay, this is a my this is my PLC sim and this is the IP and okay connect it. Yeah, it's going to download the project on PLC sim and let's to start. Okay, if I ma monitor uh, the project and modify it to one, as you can see, it's work. That's fine. So let's go on WinCC Explorer on tag on uh, tag management, and here I want to add a new drive and choose a 71200. This is a OMS Plus. I want to new connection. You can name it whatever you want, but the connection parameter are important so what was the, the IP okay 192.168.0.1 and you must go with S7 online if you don't have this option I will okay and here I choose a 71200 if you are using password on your PLC put them here and hit okay but guys uh, before that on set PG be sure that you are using S7 online on your set PG where is it you can find it on your control panel that's it here. okay so let's go to uh, this is the connection is fine and let's go and design a picture Okay, just double click on that new picture okay this is a new picture and uh, 
I want to just show clip here and an audio field. Okay, let's let's just do that. Save it. And I want to define picture as a default. And let's see what uh, uh, what is the status of our connection. To check that, just activate your project. If it's check mark, a green check, it means yes, everything is fine. So. I just close this little guy and as to uh, automation system symbol read from automation system symbol okay I have two tag and I want to use them just tick and go to graphic designer I want to stop okay just come on stop it and let's see the tag one is this one so I want to use an audio field to change the tag one so uh, this is a driver OMS connection and tag one hit OK upon change as soon as it change I want to see that and the phone size B24 okay and for tag 2 I want to uh, use uh, as a feedback on uh, for changing the color of these little guys so just go to I can use animation or there are lots of options that you can choose and the process tag is definitely tag 2 and upon change hit OK and here I want to add value for example background color uh, if it goes to one change it to red and if it goes zero change it to black and obviously it's boolean okay true or false that's it and I can save it and run the project see what's happening guys what's happening here guys okay this is 0 and this is 0 too so if I change it from here and put it on 1 its mods change to 1 as you can see the tag 2 is 1 so it's changed to red color I can change it from here yes that's it guys you activate and you can use WinCC Explorer in this video it's totally free I hope it's being useful for you send it to your friends and like the video or the post or whatever it is Take care and see you soon with other software.